too. This is a big one. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I am in a small tributary in southern Ohio today and our goal, as you can see behind me, the leaves are on the ground, the leaves are falling, the fall bite is here, the smallmouth in the creeks, rivers, streams, in Ohio, lakes are gorging themselves. And today we're going to throw a pattern I've never really given a fair shot to. Um, the Nico crawl. We're going to we're going to commit ourselves to the Nico crawl today. I'm going to try not to throw the Helgramite, but if it gets super tough, we might have to throw the Helgramite. Well, I'm going to throw the Nico crawl. I, I want to I brought a handful with me today. They're an awesome awesome crawl pattern, nice small pattern. I think it's two almost three inches i think it's almost a three inch crawl pattern but super durable they're buoyant so they float so when they're at that standing position when they're just sitting there resting their pinchers are up like this in a defensive posture and as that current and the stream flows through their their pinchers are kind of moving like this so they have excellent excellent underwater presentation and i'm going to get some underwater footage today too that's my goal is to get some underwater footage of the action of the bait in the water but yeah i want to come out here i want to throw the crawl throw something i've never really dedicated a lot of time to and I feel ashamed because smallmouth absolutely love crayfish so we'll throw that pattern today let's see if we can't catch the smallmouth here on a nice beautiful fall day it's gonna be about 70 degrees stay tuned for the action let's see if we can't catch some fish today guys let's go all right before we get started on this beautiful day beautiful fall day we, we don't have much time left for doing wet waiting I don't wear a lot of waders but let's get to the gear here I got my 610 medium extra fast if you watch my channel this is pretty much my creek setup right here. Almost all my creek videos, most of my river videos too. It's just an all around awesome rod to throw. Got it paired up with a 2500 Daiwa Kage with 10 pound super slick onyx color. Super 8 slick V2, I believe it is. 10 pound, looks awesome. This rig looks really awesome. I just put new braid on it. Super cool looking. Got 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I know you probably can't see that. But here's the Nico Crawl. We'll be throwing on a, this is a Pro Shrooms head from Z-Man. Pro Shrooms 2 aught hook. So that hook's nice and exposed, which I can't, the only bad thing about this, we need a smaller one just because you can throw these on jigs and stuff for bass because obviously you're fishing weedless. But for my situation in the light gear I use, I can't really find something that's light enough to make this super weedless. If you have any options or if you have any ideas, please comment down below. But it's gonna be an exposed hook. I'll probably lose a couple today, pitching big boulders and uh, log jams and stuff. But that's our gear. Let's see if we can't catch them. Hooked up on the fall too. This is a big one. Jeez. Come here. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Look at that creek tank. Goodness. First one on the crawl today. Man, what a beauty. What a freaking stud. All right, let's get this creek stud off here. First smallmouth of the day. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Trying to get a cool picture of him, but he didn't want, want no business. All right, I'm gonna put my underwater camera right here in this little stream. Try to get some underwater footage of the action of the Nico crawl here today. Water's nice and clear, so we'll get to see everything, all the appendages moving in the current and such. So, let's go underwater. All right, I just pulled the underwater camera. Got some awesome action of this bait. Phenomenal, phenomenal crawfish pattern. So let's continue the day. We got a nice, nice creek, creek smallmouth already. Probably pushing two pounds, at least two pounds. It was thick, probably about 16 and a half inches. Just a perfect specimen. And 
an example of why we do this here in these small creeks in Ohio. Another cool thing I like about this crawl is it's actually pretty good at skipping. I can get up underneath cover and log jams, underneath low hanging branches and stuff in the creek, which is extremely vital, extremely vital when caching accuracy is key. You gotta get up under these trees and under these undercuts here in the banks. And this crawfish, I can see if I can skip it for you. Yeah. There you go. Skipped it 20 feet at least up underneath that brush over there, right there. I think that's a pretty valuable attribute to have in a bait. It's being able to skip it, especially for big bass anglers, skipping docks and stuff like that. This bait's gonna do you great for that. It's kind of all around awesome bait so far. Like I said in the beginning, I haven't given it a fair, fair bit of time and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that just because I know crawfish are a staple part of the diet for smallmouth and creeks and rivers and lakes. I love crawfish, so I just skipped it underneath that log over there. Seen him come out of that log jam. Just hammer it. <laughs> Look at the size of that large mouth. Look at his belly. Look at that. He's been eating good. You can tell. Look, he's choked the crawl. He came out of that log, that root system that he's cast it out like a bullet. Nice little chunker. There you go, buddy. Oh, that nice creek small. There we go. Right near that piling right there, that bridge piling. Came right out from under the shadows and smoked it. There you go, buddy. All right, at about this time in the video, I start realizing my microphone on my GoPro starts having a lot of issues, a lot of squeaking, a lot of random noises that come out of nowhere. So I'm gonna voice over a couple oh, of these oh, catches. That's a good one. Here in these next few uh, sections of the creek I wade. I had to pull him out of some thick stuff. Let's get this guy back in this hole here. There's a nice log jam. Me and Dave were here about three, three, four weeks ago and caught some decent ones. Large mouth decided to smoke it. I love creek largemouth. They get such beautiful colors on them. Here you go, buddy. Alrighty, here we are again. My microphone decided not to record any sound. So I pitched this grass, this patch of grass across the creek right off this point. And I lost a fish here three weeks ago that was really big. But we found him again today, hooked into him on the Nico Crawl, the Eclipse. This color is what I've been using for the most part of this day. He's about to spit up a seven inch chub right there. Bring him in, awesome, awesome catch really dark they get this dark color pattern in these creeks they're hiding in root systems undercuts so they get these really dark patterns to blend in with the shadows that they're ambush and prey in but an absolute phenomenal creek specimen right here there's another look probably 15 15 and a half inch here. put another another fish pushing two pounds absolute stud see you later buddy Well, large, he's sitting down there. 
Come on, buddy. There you go. Hooked up. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice large mouth there. Came out from under that lay down over there. There you go, buddy. Well, I had an SD card read error on my GoPro, but caught another ch chunk right there on the crawl. Man, this is starting to get annoying with this GoPro. I'm having so many technical difficulties out in the field, but got another beauty there. Another 14 and a half, 15 incher. It's starting to get really old, these GoPro problems I'm having lately. There you go. Come right under that log jam. I came here about three or four weeks ago. The spot was pretty good too, so they're pretty stacked up in there. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the car, cast in a few more holes and call it a day. See if we can't pick up one or two more smallies on the crawl here. Hooked up. Come here, buddy. Shouldn't have flipped this one. He's actually a lot bigger than I thought he was. Come here, bub. Here we go. Got one there on the, I believe this is the mud bug. Right up from underneath that cover right there. Beauty. There you go, buddy. Cool thing about these Nico crawls is they have the stretch like the Helgramite. Check this out. Get a lot of, you catch a lot of fish on one bait. I've lost a couple today due to snags, but. They weren't anywhere near wearing out because of that stretch and that toughness, that durability of the Nico soft plastics. The body's really, the body's tough, super tough, but this is what's important right here. These little claws, these little antenna, look at this. Check that out. And the claws. It's another reason why I got on the Nico team, just because I believe in their product. I believe in their materials. It's one of a kind, really. Alrighty everyone, we're going to end the action here in the small creek here in southern Ohio. Had an absolute fantastic day with the Nico Crawls. Lost a couple in snags, which is sad. But overall, I can't ask for much more. We went out and caught some freaking tanks today in the creek. Two and a half, probably some of them pushing three pounds. We got two really nice ones that were 16 and a half, 17 inches. Just stunning, absolute, the specimens that we go after while we're creek fishing. That's what gets you out there in small skinny bodies of water, walking through them for miles and catching fish like that. It's definitely worth it. But we had an awesome day. GoPro, tell you what, I've had significant technical issues. SD card read error. If you guys have ever had this on your GoPro, let me know how you came about fixing it. But the mic, my mic is also cutting in and out like I'll have a clip where there's no audio. And I don't know if the, the computer is gonna bring that out or not, if I can fix it on the computer. But that's a bummer. I'm sitting here catching nice fish, having nice clips, and there's no audio. And I apologize for it. If the audio didn't come out, I apologize. I'll just put some music over that clip, which is a bummer, man, because you can't hear the drag ripping or nothing. Can't hear the fish splashing. But if you guys have ever had any problems with your GoPro, comment down below if you know any remedies to fixing the mic, the audio issues, and the SD card read error sucks because it's, it's a pain. It's super annoying because you'll have a clip of a fish Today is the perfect example. I caught a nice 12, 12 and a half incher, got it to the bank, getting ready to release it, SD card read error. Immediately erases all the footage on that clip. Super, super bummed about it, man. It's happened to me a few times. I'm just gonna have to get a new GoPro. I'm gonna have to bite, bite the bullet and get a new one, I guess. Get a new, newer GoPro, because I'm using the four silvers right now, and I'm buying used ones, I'm buying refurbished ones, which is probably the problem which is probably the reason I'm having problems. If you want some Waterland sunglasses, go to Waterland. I'll put their link in the description below. Use Crawler 15 for 15% off your shades. 
You can use Crawler 10 on the Nico website. If you want to get yourself some Nico Crawls, Nico Helgramites leeches, highly recommend the crawls, man. They're super durable, super buoyant. They're just an overall an awesome bait, and, I've, and I proved it today in this video. So if you want to get any of those, use my promo codes and save you some money. If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out on the water. <gasps> Let's go!